Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is going to be about getting ready quickly to get out the door, get to work, get to appointments, whatever you need to do. Makeup hints, five, I think I went over, makeup tricks, hacks, whatever to get you quickly out the door. I am doing this in collaboration with just this sweetest, most beautiful woman. Her name is a Melissa too. We are named twins. It is Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty. And I just absolutely love her. Uh, I, I have gotten to know her more through Instagram and we've talked and uh, she's just a delight and she's just got a wonderful YouTube channel. She just knows so much about skincare, so much about makeup. She's enthusiastic. I love watching her and I know that everybody else will too. So be sure that you go over and watch her. Of course, I will link her video uh, below. But I just thought this was such a good um, idea and it was Melissa's idea uh, of getting out the door quickly. I had done a video last week about you know working on my hair at night time to hurry up and get out the door in the morning and when she said what do you think about this idea i thought oh, that is just perfect and she's got lots of good ideas like that so be sure you go check out mrs melissa m's beauty uh and she has really good skincare advice too yeah uh, she has really studied she she just knows makeup she knows skincare she knows what she's doing so uh Anyway, I'm just very excited about doing this collaboration and, I, um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing her video. Let me start out by saying, I feel like I have experience on this topic. I really do. There's a lot of things I talk about that I think, oh, I don't really probably know, you know, have a lot of experience. There's people, a lot of people that know better than me about this, but this, I feel like I know about. I am a person that, it's not that I waited to the last minute to get ready, but it would be, I always overestimate or underestimated how much time it would take me to get ready. So therefore I would be, you know, running late and having to hurry uh, right quick. I have worked outside the home. My daughter, she's my oldest, she's 44. I have worked outside the home since she was nine. So especially when they were going to school, it would be dropping them off to school, dropping them off at the babysitters, dropping them off at daycare, dropping them, having to get them at, at a place, myself at a place at a certain time, but all of us looking presentable. And as they got older, of course, you know, I, they would could help themselves do, them, do things for themselves, but there would be still be things like, can you, oh, oh, this needs to be ironed. Oh, I need that shirt. Oh, I need this. I need, you know, it was always something. So sometimes my uh, getting ready had to be put on the back burner, but I still had to be at work at eight o'clock to, and look presentable. And so I put together over the years tricks to get me out the door. I think that that's the whole thing. Get you out, get the, get you out the door. So you don't arrive at work or school or wherever you're going a complete mess. You can always touch up later when you get there on your break or whatever, but entering the door with everybody looking at you, that's that's your goal is to get there looking where people don't, you know, where people think, well, she, hey, she looks nice for a Tuesday morning. So that's what we're going to do today. So in no particular order, here are my hints. And I, I did these hints on this look right here. So if I think about it and it turns out after I look at the footage, I filmed it and I will put it up in the corner as I show the steps. Okay, uh, like I said, there's probably more than eight because I did have lots of ideas about this. I think the number one thing is to invest in time to get overall, a few overall classic looks. Uh, when you have a Saturday afternoon or whenever, experiment experiment with just doing a few things that are easy and it will also weed out the things that are difficult if you think oh it'll probably be easy to do a wing liner every day and you start working at it and you think i, I don't have time for that well that's something you can throw out false eyelashes or maybe you're real good at false eyelashes you can zip them on you think that's something i can skip other steps because i'm really bringing out my eyes with false eyelashes so i think if you take the time to invest and getting a few looks down that you can go to in your sleep, 
I think that that is going to be a big thing to save you time. The next one, oh, I think this is so important. Have your base foundation coverage, whatever for your skin, have it where it suits you the best. You can skip a lot of steps. If you have a good foundation, some women I know like to use a tinted moisturizer uh, overall and they get the, they achieve the look they want with that. A CC cream, whatever. I like Lancome Stick Foundation. I know I can quickly put it on, put it on with my fingers. I'm not having to worry about a sponge. I'm not having to worry about a brush. I'm getting it on with my fingers quickly and then I know, and that, that goes back to experimenting too. I have tried different foundations that I know I'm gonna get the best look for the least amount of time. So when I'm in a hurry, I know, okay, I need to reach for that foundation. I need to reach for the Lancome stick because I can go ch -ch -ch, and then it's done. And you know, if you, it can take a lot of steps to get a nice look uh, on a foundation. And if you can get a good foundation with a good color match to your skin, then you can probably skip a few steps otherwise. Um, I have really found that to be true. Uh, if it's a good formula that's right for you, you might be able to skip that setting powder or you may be able to skip that primer. If you can't, then work those into your steps. Knowing what you need to do to get the classic look that you want, I think is the best thing. And when I said plan, when I said go for a classic uh, look, if you're hurry up trying to get out the door, that's not the time to be experimenting with, you know, lots of different colors and different looks and this and that, you know, you just, you need to get that, the makeup on and get out the door. So I think it's important to find the foundation that works for you, that is the right color, get you out the door without a whole bunch of extra steps to it. I cannot stress this enough. When you're in a hurry, and this goes back to planning, go for a classic look. Go for an eyeshadow color that you know is right for you. Go for a blush that's right for you. Go for a lipstick color that's right for you. Something that you know is going to be a classic, probably neutral look. Uh, it's gonna go with any outfit that you have on. You may spill something, you may spill your coffee on your shirt and have to change your top at the last minute. If you've got something on that's just classic on your on your skin and your palette on your that you're using for your eyes and your lips and your cheeks, it's gonna go with any outfit that you might have to put on at the last minute. The next one is emphasize your strong points. Uh, it can be easy when, especially when you're in a hurry to think, ooh, uh, I don't like my I don't like my nose, you know. So I'm going to contour. I'm going to try to slim down my nose. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do that to my nose, and that's going to take a lot of time. Instead, if you emphasize your eyes more, people are going to be drawn to your eyes or to your lips or to your pretty lip color instead of the contouring that you've done on your nose. I think time invested in your strong points is a really big time saver. I really do. Uh, because you can just, it just makes your not so strong points fade more into the background, I think. Get the most out of your liners or your sticks, as I call them. <laughs> there are three liners that I keep in my purse, I keep in my bag, I always use. That is for my eyebrows. I like to use an eyeliner stick. Uh, I can draw a few here that I need to. I can fill in some areas and I can bring my eyebrows up a little bit following my natural arch. I can do it quickly. Uh, I use a roll-up stick by uh, Trish McAvoy, the natural color, and then I can just go above, follow my line, and I'm set, I'm done. And it really frames your eyes, I think, and brings out your eyes. The next one I like to do is, I do like to tight line, so I will take the time to do that. I use a roll-up that I don't have to start, stop and sharpen, and so I will do my tight line because I feel like that that brings some emphasis to my eyes. And the third thing I like to do is I use, like to use a lip liner. I try to use the liners to my advantage. So I like to use a lip liner. I think it helps to keep feathering into fine lines and wrinkles around your lips. I think it helps to accentuate your lip, lips. And uh, you know, I know my lip line has gotten uneven over the years. And so I can kind of even it out quickly and uh, fill in. And if 
if I have to, I can always use it as a lipstick too, but I always like to make sure I use a lip liner. Um, I just think it gives that classic finish look. Liners can really do a lot to give a classic finish look, I think. And uh, I really like to use them, those three a lot. Uh, and I think it saves me a lot of time. Work out of your makeup bag. The night before, look at your makeup bag, fill in the makeup you wanna use the next day, especially if you feel like, like you've got an earlier meeting, if you feel like you're gonna run late, have your makeup bag ready. You can work out of your makeup bag and throw it back in. And if you have your makeup bag packed, if for some reason you do spill that coffee all over yourself, you have to take the time. If your hair didn't turn out, you have to slick it up into a bun right quick. If something happens in the morning, grab your makeup bag. When you get to the office, you can go to the restroom and finish up what you started at home. But uh, I just really think carrying that makeup bag, having it ready, having your uh, liners in there, having your eyeshadow in there is gonna really save you a lot of time having your lipstick, your lip gloss, whatever you need, it's gonna be right there. You can grab it, go out the door. Having it packed is, it was always vital to me. Always very important. The next one I think is really important. I have always done this. Even when my children were babies, before they started work, I always liked to have my makeup on. Use one eyeshadow and find a good brush or brushes to do with it. I like to use this brush right here from Kat Von D. It's a two-sided brush. One side, I put the eyeshadow, one eyeshadow. Today, I did a burgundy color from the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia. Put it on your lid. Lid, you can blend it up into the crease. Blend it above as a transition color. Blend it even more if you need to cover a hood. All with one color. It's just a matter of blending and shading and getting a gradual fade. And then I can take the other side and take the same eyeshadow and just line underneath. That just saves me a ton of time. I'm not searching around for different eyeshadows. I have my eyeshadow right there. I use that same one, go from this, flip it over, go underneath, and I'm done. Using one eyeshadow with the right brush makes all the difference. You can really get a nice polished finished look using one eyeshadow and you're ready to go. You can have really a really nice eyeshadow look. So the next one is just kind of trivial and silly, but it really does work and save time, and that is blink into your mascara. Uh, I've always, you know, taken time, you know, to really, you know, start at the base and roll it up like you're supposed to do. But I have found if you blink into your mascara, I think I probably demonstrated, if you blink into your mascara, you can get a whole bunch on quickly. And as you blink, you're kind of brushing it out at the same time, but I really think you get the most mascara application by blinking into it. Um, I have actually, you know, brushed and then blinked, then brushed and then blinked, and I can do my eyelashes in seconds. And that saves a lot of time because I really think eyelashes, you know, it helps to bring out your eyes. It just makes your eye, eye look so much prettier. Anyway, those are my hints to getting out the door quickly. And in fact, I'm watching my time. I'm getting out the door quickly right now. I'm gonna go put my shoes on. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure you go watch Melissa's uh, video right now. I know it's gonna be wonderful and that's where I'm headed. Um, everyone have a wonderful week. Be safe. I love you all. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye.